What is going on everybody? This is Yes I Read That and today I am reviewing Kings of the World by Nicholas Eames. I've been reading a lot of comments in the internet saying that this book is really great and I decided to have a look and see what the fuzz is all about. So this book is actually based on a crazy idea. This is a fantasy book and it's based on a world where there's a lot of monsters and all different kinds of species, all different kinds of fantasy species you can think of. And then there's these bands that are like rock stars except they're not making music, they're actually just fighting these monsters. So it's, it's a crazy idea but somehow it kind of works and this book is about an old band, it's a bunch of old people who've been the top band for a while and then they disbanded. Now after 20 years they're getting the band back together and it's about their journey and getting every band made to join back. And at first I really wasn't sure if I would like this. I mean it's a crazy idea but it's actually a pretty decent book and first of all I want to talk a bit about the world, then I talk a bit about story and the characters and then I'll give my score. So the world is actually pretty crazy as I said we have these monsters we have these bands and the bands are usually fighting the monsters but there's one area in this world called the hard world. The hard world is a huge forest where a lot of monsters roam and nobody really wants to go there because it's very dangerous and because you can get a disease called the rot and it's just incurable and leads to death so and from this hard world there's the hard world horde that is currently besieging a city called Castilla. That's where we get to the story because the band is actually getting together because one of the members, Gabriel, has a daughter who formed her own band and she is currently trapped in Castilla. So he wants to get the band back together and save his daughter. Now the band that he was part of is called Saga and it was once the most famous band ever. So they're still legendary but now it's more like there's some grumpy old grandpas than actual band members. and it's. It's a very funny perspective to see the old band members come together and see like the new developments that happen in the space and all these new bands who don't even want to go into the hard world anymore to prove them but instead want to tour some stadiums and give what almost seems like rock star concerts but it's very fitting because they're bands so yeah. <laughs> so Gabriel is visiting Clay Cooper, one of his old bandmates and Clay Cooper is actually the main character and the book is written from his perspective so he tries to convince him to join up and get the rest of the band together and in the end they obviously manage to do it and the whole adventure starts. So I want to talk about the characters a bit. The characters are mostly band members but there's some really good characters in this book. So the main character is Clay Cooper who is a fighter and he has this big shield. It's called Blackwood. It's a very interesting choice for a main character to mainly use a shield but it's definitely the case in this book. Then we have Moog. <laughs> Arcanius Moog is a battle mage and I think I'm not alone if I say that this was the favorite character of mine in this book because he is amazing. It's like the mix of uh, crazy grandpa and sorcerer and it's just amazing. He has all kinds of broken magic items in his bag and uh, he uses one after the other and most of them don't work and he's just absolutely great. He's just a great character. Then the rest of the band members are Matric, who used to be a thief and is now king. <laughs> uh, there's Ganelon who has been turned to stone for 20 years but he's actually a killer and the best fighter because he did not age in this time frame. And then obviously there's Gabriel who is a part of the band as well. So then after the band is back together they go on this crazy adventure and I'm really saying crazy because it is so fast paced and so much crazy stuff happens and on their travels they meet a lot of interesting characters as well. So one of them is uh, Larkspur. Larkspur is a very interesting character in this book. She's actually an assassin trying to hunt them at first. Then she actually goes along with them for a while because she hit her head and forgot everything. And yeah, she's pretty interesting. They also meet uh, Gregor and Dane and I think that was also one of the best characters in this book. This character is so wholesome. Basically there's two personalities in one body and they have, so th this uh, creature has two heads and one of them is blind. They meet this character in the hard world, so the hard world as I said is this terrible place where monsters roam and basically it's, it's like it's raining poison and you know everything is terrible. 
so the blind guy, Dane, can't see anything. And then Gregor, his brother, always describes the stuff that happens in the best light possible. He says the weather is beautiful even though it's terrible. The world around them is terrible but he always describes it as very beautiful and I just thought it was so beautiful. And it, it makes for a great comedic effect as well if something terrible happens and afterwards you just hear uh, Gregor describe it for his blind brother and he just says something completely opposite of what just happened. <laughs> so that character was very awesome as well. All in all there's just some great characters. Let's get to my likes and dislikes about the book. What I liked was that the book is very fast paced and that the humor was very good. The writing in this book is pretty decent, it's fast paced, it's humorous, uh, there's tons of different animals and species and uh, it's very fast paced so it kind of reminded me of a fantasy weird Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy a bit. Just from the story progression and pacing, basically it reminds me of The Hitchhiker's Guide because it's very crazy. But I still think the book has some issues as well. Uh, for example, this scary hard world where nobody even dares to go just felt way too easy. I'm gonna get into a few spoilers from the book right now. So if you don't want to hear them and think this book could suit you, then just go ahead and read it. It will probably suit you. It's a very funny book. So the thing I didn't like is it felt way too easy. One example would be that Clay Cooper, the main character, actually loses his hand at the end of the book and then just proceeds to grow it back. So it didn't even matter at all. And then there's Mook having the rot, but they just come across a cure and then, you know, it's not bad at all anymore. So it just felt too easy. The scary hard will just didn't feel scary anymore at all. And at the end, it's a bit sad because I couldn't take the fight serious anymore because, you know, nothing's gonna happen to the main characters. You know, they're, they're basically invincible. So, I don't know. That kind of turned me off in the end because I just couldn't take it very serious anymore. But all in all, it's still a very good book. My score for this book is a 7 out of 10. It's still a very good book and I really recommend reading it if you're into this kind of crazy stuff. The setting is absolutely unique, I've never read anything like it and I think that's what a lot of people like about the book as well, it's just so unconventional, it's just a breath of completely fresh air and I think that was a very cool thing this book brought but I'm not sure if the execution was perfect, so yeah. It's very fun but it feels a bit shallow at times. But well, I'm very curious what you thought of the book. I already know that a lot of people really loved it. If you did, then just leave a comment and say, hey, I loved it as well. If you didn't, just write your thoughts or just tell me what you're currently reading. I'm always interested and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.